Word has a feature called auto text and with auto text Word takes something that you type and automatically replaces it with something else. Um, it uses that for common special symbols that you might want to insert in a document. For example, a copyright symbol. Uh, if you type parenthesis C, parenthesis, uh, it automatically changes that to a copyright symbol. Uh, the um, R with a circle around it for uh, registered. Uh, parenthesis R parenthesis the trademark symbol do parenthesis TM parenthesis and you get the raised trademark symbol now uh, what if you do something like that and you decide that that's not really what you wanted what you wanted was parenthesis TM parenthesis well if you hit backspace right after doing I just hit backspace there um, you're telling word that you don't want to do the auto text and you want to leave it the way it was okay uh, let's look at some other ones. Let's do uh, hyphen, hyphen, and a greater than symbol becomes an arrow. And whoops, that's. Thought I wanted to make that into a bullet if I hit tab right after that. Um, let's try that again. Hyphen, hyphen, greater than, and it's not going to do it for me now because it thinks I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, if I do a less than followed by a couple of equal signs, I get a fat arrow pointing left. If I do a couple of equal signs followed by a greater than, I get a fat arrow pointing right. If I do a less than followed by two hyphens, I get an arrow pointing to the left. And if I do a couple of hyphens followed by a greater than sign, I get a skinny arrow pointing to the right. So I've got four ways to do arrows. I've got these common uh, symbols up here and uh, a couple of other ones that it does if you do a colon hold the shift key down and a right parenthesis uh, it'll do a smiley face for you if you do a left parenthesis and a colon I'm sorry a colon and a left parenthesis uh, it does a frowny face <clears throat> and it also has some shortcuts uh, for doing lines all the way across the page uh, these get converted into what word calls borders which are actually attached to a paragraph but if you just want to line all by itself we'll talk about borders some other time uh, but if you just want to line all by itself uh, type three hyphens and hit the enter key and you'll get a line that goes all the way across if I want to um, double line do three e equal signs and hit the enter key if I want um, a thick line it's the underscore three times and hit enter I want a wavy line I can do the tilde character over here on the top left part of the keyboard and hit enter afterwards and I get a wavy line and let's make a little more room here and there are two other choices if I do three asterisks and hit the enter key I get a bunch of big square dots and if I do three pound signs and hit the enter key I get a triple line like that that's fat in the middle with a couple of skinny lines on the top and the bottom now you notice whenever I do this stuff, uh, this little lightning bolt appears here and uh, that gives you the option of turning this stuff off. If I click on the down arrow, uh, it'll let me undo that just for this one time, if that's what I wanted was three pound signs instead. Or it'll also let me just turn this off and stop doing automatic borders for me. Now um, since all you have to do if you if you don't want that feature is just go here and you know tell it to undo or redo uh, I don't think there's a big need uh, to tell it to stop automatically doing that yeah it looks like I must have checked that uh, by mistake so now that's that's turned off and uh, so those are some uh, easy ways to do borders uh, using words autocorrect feature now a neat thing about the autocorrect features you can make up your own uh, autocorrect. Let's go to the file menu here and go to options and uh, let's pull this back in the window here and one of my options is um, proofing and autocorrect options is one of the buttons up here at the top and uh, I can have it replace whatever I want to here um, so let's say that you find yourself uh, typing the phrase Briarcliff University over and over and over again uh, you can just type BCU and then over here tell it you want to replace it with Briarcliff University 
and click on add don't forget to do that and then click on OK and we can um, close this window now and now if I type BCU in a space it automatically replaces it with Briarcliff University so you can make up your own shorthand there if you've got um, you know long phrases or long words that you use over and over again and you just want to do a shortcut form all you gotta do is go in and and uh, make up your own shortcuts so that's how you can um, use the shortcut feature in Word.